Hi there. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to create personalized images inside your email. So when you create a cold email that you want to send out and you could be sending a cold email through a manual means using Gmail or you could be sending it through an automated software like Pursue app or even sending out mass emails, personalization is always a good idea because it can help you get better click rates and also over time improve your open rates and your inboxing too. So inside of Sell It Picks, what you need to do is create a new campaign and then generate the image for personalization in emails, generate a dynamic URL, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So the first thing you want to, you want to select a template that you want to use to uh, send out the email with. So I'm going to browse. You can use the pages, the paging counter over here to select the template you want to work with. Let me go with this one. I'll click on create campaign and then I can create, I can click my, I can give my campaign a name. I'll call it my email campaign. Click on add campaign and it's going to set up a new campaign in a matter of seconds. So I've got my campaign over here. On the right side is my live preview and I can just type the name of the person if I want to see how it looks. And there it is. This is how the campaign will look. I can change the message if I want to change it to anything I want. To do that, you can either modify the template inside the template designer or you can even change the HTML right over here. I'm not going to change it right now. I'm going to let it be. Then you can also select a landing page if you want. If you want to send out clicks from your email, you can do that. But in this particular instance, we want to just render an email and I will specify the link inside of my email client itself. So here is the option to generate a dynamic image URL for emails and landing pages. Just click on it once and you have your dynamic URL ready. And depending on your email client, you might need to modify it a little. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm using get response in my demo and in get response, you need to specify square brackets to have your short codes for the name, for example. So this is the short code for get response. Now, some clients use a singular parenthesis, singular angular, singular bracket. Some clients use double curly braces. Some clients use even parenthesis. So whatever your email client requires, you need to provide the short code for the first name using that method. Also make sure that you use the correct first name short code or whatever personalization short code that you're using. Some clients, some email systems ask you to put an underscore, some email systems ask you to put an exclamation mark. So whatever is the whatever is the requirement for your particular email system, make sure you adhere to it. The idea is that when we put this email, when we put this URL in our provider, uh, for example, here I've got a image block in get response i can just put the image url over here with the first name that will be replaced by get response when it sends out the email i can just click on go and in your preview you might see the image is rendering differently so you will see this first name in the preview because in the test you know uh, draft system in the preview the get response or any email client that you're using will not replace this with the with the actual name of the person but when the mail is actually sent out to your customers this will be replaced by the actual name for example if i would you know put cyril over here just as the email client would while sending out the email this is what you would get or this is what the act the people will see you can see this right over here my name so this time instead of first name which was the short code I use my actual name and this was the result. So when an email client, when an email marketing system sends out a mail to your customers, it replaces the short code with the actual name or actual data that you are putting in. And when the email is rendered on the customer's website or the, so the, sorry, the customer's web browser or the customer's email client, they will see their actual name and not first name. So go ahead, render that name in there and the mail when it reaches your customers is going to end up with their real name. 